Hello YouTube, it's Bebop207 here and welcome back to Niche and the Ox Tribe. Now in the last episode, um, our wonderful little couple here, uh, Coco and Taduk here, actually had their handsome babies. We have, uh, we have Tata here who I actually do need to rename. Um, and we have Pearl over here. Both of them are very healthy. I think Tata has a couple of recessive issues, but overall he's much healthier than what we've been dealing with for the most part. And then we also have Dukta. Now Dukta is actually not Coco's or Tadukir's um, child. He is the child of Lana, if I remember correctly. Cop cop, I'm not the best with names. Um, yeah, Rug Mail. What do we name this guy? You know what, we're gonna name you... Meanie. So we have Meanie right here. Um, but Lana, Lana, yeah, it is Lana. Lana was a sickly nichling that Coco took took pity on and invited into the tribe to give her food it's for like for her last days. A nice, comfy place to rest, and um, almost, almost, I guess, as a repayment because Marasi had been so fierce um, to a sick nichling previously. But, uh, understandable. Marasi was just trying to protect herself and her mate, and the sick nichling was just, like, staying close. But Lana tried to, sort of tried to keep her distance. But, Lana was so grateful that she stood in the way of a rogue male so that poor, uh, Coco wouldn't get attacked. And she ended up with Dukta! Now, Dukta is actually sick. He has double F immunity, he's got hemophilia, bad fertility, uh, bad eyesight recesses, and a no paw. But in the scheme of things, he could have been much, much worse off. He did at least get the big ears, he does at least have ram horns recessive, and he he is a pretty pink. He is quite gorgeous, I will admit. Um, he does have a really cute mane color too. And he's got light, got lovely little brown eyes, but um, he didn't really have the best of luck, but it could have been much worse off. And I think Coco does feel responsible for this baby, and she is going to keep her kids away. But she's going to try to stay as near as she can. I mean, she can't get too close, otherwise she'll get sick. But she's going to try to stay as near as she can. But let's go ahead and name him. And I think that to her, she seems, like he seems, like a frightened little rabbit. And that was the first name I saw, and I think that fits him perfectly. So we're going to name him Rabbit because he seems like a skittish little rabbit who's sickly and, and lonely and hurt and so she's going to try her best to be a good adoptive mother but she also has to remember for her other children and if she is supposed to be a good adoptive mother she has to remember to take care of herself otherwise I mean what is she going to be able to do you know what I mean? But um, her mate is very understanding. He's gonna reveal this for us. Oh, thank goodness, not regrowing grass. And oh, oh, can you uh, get that fish? No, okay, never mind. I was I was real excited there for a second. I thought um, Lupin would be able to catch that fish, but looks like that's a no. Sniff, sniff, sniff. But um, we actually do need to look around for some more fish, and I do want to be careful over here because. Um, no tail might be dealing with leeches again, but let's go ahead and oh uh -huh, No, stop running. Okay. Wait a second We're gonna watch the the fish in the ocean are much more Annoying to deal with personally. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, go ahead and swipe that up so that it increases your your time Hopefully to be able to breathe underwater snow tail but um, I have been forgetting to show you guys the genetics So I just want to apologize for that really quickly I hadn't been paying attention. Oh, I should have had him get, uh, grab that food. I hadn't been paying attention, so I've been forgetting, but um, some of you have been very good about still pointing out pairings to me, so thank you. And Trinket pointed out that Frost Furl, uh, Furl. Frost Fur and Pearl would actually be very good mates, but oh, that reminds me, in the last episode, Rocky Road has, uh, he started to show his potential as a really strong and really powerful mystic. I'm very excited to see what he'll do. Um, I mean, he's, he's powerful, you guys. He is really powerful. But, um, Lenaria has been doing her best during her last days of life to teach him and to educate him about being a mystic, to tell him what to look for, to help him out, and just to really 
you know, just really help him learn and grow as a mystic. And Marasi is overjoyed with her little boy. She is beaming, despite the fact that he is not a good hunter, not a good gatherer. And uh, this was brought up by... Uh, why do I keep forgetting your name? Um, I know you are a YouTube user, but you had a specific... I think it was Miki. Um, I think your your nickname was Miki that you wanted me to call you. But Miki suggested that Marasi had a mother's love, and that despite her son not being very skilled in most areas, she is still extremely proud of her son, and I think that's true. Because, I mean, hey, again, in the Ox Tribe, being a mystic is kind of like being the leader. So in her eyes, her son Rocky Road is beyond lucky. And Lupin, just hearing of how awesomely powerful his son is, is really proud too. And I think he does want to make sure that his son gets a lot of food and there's fishies! <gasps> Fishy fishies! Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, Pearl, can you get over there, actually? Oh, no. No, you can't. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna scoot Pearl a little bit over this way. Okay, she can kind of get over here. There's lots of fish over here. So we'll have these guys. Uh, she'll meet her, her granddad, and they'll hang out and get to know each other. And I think he's very happy to see that she kind of looks like him. And he's very impressed by her uh, shiny, pearly white ram horns, and I think they're going to work together to get food, but we got a dead clown koi over here, which will be a lot of food. But um, Coco is going to try to clear out the territory around her, and luckily this area has more, um, has less regrowing grass, so that's a nice, nice thing, but um, her brother is over here as well, let's see. He's trying to clear out some territory bits, just a little bit. I think we'll let him clear this out as well. Of course it's regrowing grass. But Ronu's kind of looking for fish as well, and he might go out this way, try and find some fish. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I do think, though, I mean, I'm kind of looking at, I'm looking at little Tata here, and let's actually give him, oh, Spark! What a good name for you, Spark. Okay, we're going to name you Spark. Hello, Spark! But, um, I'm kind of looking at him, and what I'm seeing, I see a very feisty spirit. I think that he... he's definitely very fierce in my head, and he's kind of raring for adventure. He feels like a very adventurous spirit, and I think he might quickly grow tired of this watered-down savanna. So we'll have to see what he does as he gets older, but I think Rocky Road... I think he's starting to get an odd sense in the air, an odd feeling, but uh, we'll, ex we'll explore that a little more. Let's see, is there anyone else besides Spark? Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to pass the turn, and let's keep an eye on poor little Rabbit over here, because I am worried about him. I really hope he does. I don't know if there are birds on this island, but if there are, I am very worried about him. Oh, baby, no. You poor thing. Ah, I really don't like that he's sick, but I'm gonna keep him in the grass in the hopes that that'll um, keep things better, I suppose. And Taduk here and Coco might have another child, we'll have to see, but uh, it really depends. But I think now that Rocky Road's older, um, oh my gosh, yes, get the food, get the food. We'll, we'll look at Rocky Road in a second. Get the food, get the food, get the food. Okay, I want you to collect up the fish and actually fish. And show your daughter, your daughter, the ropes. Oh no, she only had one turn because she, I don't think she has the big ears. Oh, she could have grabbed up a clown koi. I forgot that she had fishing tail. Oh my goodness, I feel so ridiculous. Okay, okay. But I think um, Lupin's having the time of his life right now showing his granddaughter how to fish. And she's going to try to swipe some up in the next turn. But, oh my gosh, Johnny, jump up, you died, what the heck? No, not my precious baby, no. Aww. I'm sad. And the, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Who do you remind me of? Oh my gosh, I can't remember your name, but you were like the first. No, not the first. You were the, you were, I think you were Siri's mate, or Sirala's mate. Actually, I think it was Siri. Weren't you? Kier Kierku, and you're sick, but you have a new immunity. Okay, so I think 
that Marasi is going to really quickly invite this guy, but then she's gonna she's gonna kind of send him to sit aside. And he does have a new immunity, which it wouldn't be bad to have a couple of babies with him. Hum, 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 hum. I do think that we're gonna start sending... I think we're gonna start sending Rocky Road off. Rocky Road's kind of following his instincts right now, and I forgot that he can actually swim a little bit thanks to the swimming tail. So that's awesome. But I think he's gonna kind of go off a little bit, hang out with his um, older brother Ronu, and Marasi's kind of left alone with this Nietzscheling. You know, she's kind of left alone with the sick Nietzscheling, and she's not quite sure what to do with uh, Kirkirku. He's got hemophilia, terrible fertility, blind eye, oh my gosh, he is, um, he's quite the piece of work. I don't know if I even want to, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with him. He would be an interesting person to pair off with someone though. But we are lower on food now. No, I didn't want you to collect that, but okay. And let's not forget to move this guy down here. I think Snowtail, um, I think he is starting to get really aggravated by these fish. Stop running away from him. Okay, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. But Marasi has this whole new issue on her hands. And she also, oh goodness, she has to deal with, with um, her boys and her girl all being away from her. I mean, she can still kind of see them across the water. We're gonna check out the fish clothes. <gasps> you have made a mistake. Boom! And he grabbed some. Thank goodness. Ah, Snowtail's starting to get really antsy and agitated over there. But uh, let's look over here and watch what these guys do. Um, Ronu has been extremely helpful with clearing out some territory. We're gonna sit him here. He's found us another permanent nest in this area and I think something we might do soon is send some more of our Nietzschelings up that way to guard those berry bushes. But I do want to keep close to these ports because um, whenever we move islands, I have decided that we're going to go here. And that's kind of a dangerous thing to do, but I think we can, um, I think we can, let's uh, check somebody who doesn't have anything mutations. There we go. I think we can influence poison things. We can't. Okay. Um, it looks like we actually can't influence Poison Fangs, so we are going to want to try to... We are going to want to try our best to get as much food here as we can for whenever we decide to move. But, um, let's see. Taduk here and Coco are still kind of waiting. Waiting around. We're going to go ahead. We're going to sit Rabbit a little further down, you know? We're going to keep him in the grass, though, so that he's safe. But I think that, uh, I think that Spark is feeling very feisty. So he's kind of going up to his mom and like, Mom, can you show me how to hunt fish? Can we hunt a uh, crabbit together and such? And so they might do some crabbit hunting. I think Coco hasn't really had much experience with crabbit hunting. So she's going to try to dig for worms while she waits for her son to come down and help her out. But uh, they might have another kid. I actually might let them have another kid. And I think soon... That after doing a bit of fishing over here, I think we're going to send Pearl kind of around the ring to greet Frostfur. And I might actually sit Frostfur like over here instead. I might sit him around this area instead because he's a little closer to this side. It'll be a little easier and if um, Ronu can continue to help us clear out this area, then it shouldn't be too hard for Pearl to hop from over here to here to have their babies. And that way, if we do move and their babies are the ones that are moving, we go, it wouldn't be nearly as hard for us to leave. But, uh, all right. I don't think we have any more babies to look forward to. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to move Frost for the next turn. But I am, I'm going to keep an eye over here. Let's keep an eye. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Now I don't have to worry about the birds snatching him up. Okay, that's good, though. That's good. We've got a few more Nietzschelings over here. And before anything, let's just go ahead and let her snatch up some fish. Cause she's a real good fisher, you know? And I think she really wants to show off to her um to her grandpa, who's already very proud of her. And I think I think uh Maresi is going to scoot way to the edge. Somebody got leeched. It's probably you, isn't it? 
No? Oh, so it was Snowtail again. Alright, Snowtail, you dork. Come back up this way. Come back up over here. Okay. So you got leeched again. Your brother's gonna have to come over and help you. Um, I'm gonna let him grab from this. He actually has to go around. So we're gonna go ahead, start heading him around anyway, because he needs to go that way. And we do have this Prabbit down here we need to look at. But uh, before that, Maresi, she came over here and she's kind of, I think she decided to go into the water to be with her mate and they still have a couple days of life. He's actually about to pass away and I think he's going to come down here, grab some fish and then scoot back to be closer to Maresi. And then I think she's going to come over and hang out with Pearl on her last day as well. Now, poor Kir Kirku is kind of left alone here after being just randomly invited into this tribe, and I think he's feeling very confused. I don't think he, I don't, I, I don't think he knows what to think, because he's just sitting there, he's kind of alone, all the Nijlings that are on this island suddenly disappeared, and he's, he's just not sure what to do, so he's just gonna stay here. <laughs> grab a couple of berries here and there and kind of just work through it, just deal with it. But uh, Spark and his mom are actually going to go crab it hunting. So we're going to go ahead and Spark, oh my goodness boy. Okay, so Spark may not go crab it hunting. I think what we're going to do is we're going to send Rooney down to help his sister. Um, and they're going to show Spark how it's done. They're going to teach him how to hunt and I think um, she's gonna she yeah they're gonna look for more crabbits and stuff and I think that he might um, be kind of handed off to Ronu to kind of go about the edge and clear out the territory but Coco is very worried about rabbit because he doesn't really have a lot of strength and he can't really take care of himself too well so she's kind of trying to stay near without getting too near like uh, with trying not to get sick but she, she's very worried about, um, about Rabbit, because he just seems so helpless, you know? But her mate, uh, Taduk here, I do think he's gonna collect up some berries, and then he's probably gonna scoot down here to sit closer to his mate. And we have Rocky Road over here, who's just kind of following his instincts. And I think something, something about this area is making him feel like he should try to clear it out. So he's just going to start clearing this out and he's kind of looking over these nichelings over here and he's starting to, like, he's seeing everything so clearly. He's seeing their genetic makeup and everything and he's looking at Spark, for example, and he sees the short-sighted eyes recessives and the low fertility and I think he's just kind of leisurely reaching a paw out and just twisting the genetics so that there's a higher likelihood of, like, good eyesight for his kids and a higher likelihood of high fertility. So he's kind of reaching out, uh, putting those better genes in place so that his children will be healthier. He's kind of looking around at these other niche links and he's seeing Rabbit and just a pang of sympathy is filling his heart because he knows how it feels to be so sickly. And Rabbit is even weaker than, um, than Rocky Road is. So I think that hits him especially hard because um, he just, he understands the feeling of it, I suppose, but at the same time he doesn't. So I guess just seeing Rabbit, just seeing such a weak, poor Nietzscheling really does kind of get at his heart a little bit. So he's over here and I think he does believe that he needs to clear out this area, so he's going to do his best to do so. But alright you guys, I do think that that will be it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, thank you all for watching, but I gotta be a Papa Nana here, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and really quickly, I will mention that if I, um, cause how rare my recording chances are, occasionally I record episodes in, like, group batches, so if I don't show the genetics at the end of one episode, it might be, um, to feel free to remind me because sometimes I do just forget but uh, I'm not going to show at the end of this because I'll be showing at the end of the next episode uh, because I'm doing a recorded batch right now of a couple episodes so if there's not one for one episode uh, either assume that it's uh, a recorded batch so I didn't really forget or 
I did forget. So it's okay if you remind me either way, but I just want to let you know that sometimes if it doesn't show up, it's because I recorded multiple at once. And I wanted to wait until there'd be a higher likelihood for me to respond to your suggestions and actually, you know, kind of make them happen in the game. But alright you guys, I do think that's going to be it, and now I will for real be bopping out out of here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!